it's you welcome back thank you so much for clicking hope you guys are doing great so this pastor mimics vira imam and cat then this happens let's watch Mom. <clears throat> After the viral clip of an Algerian imam keeping his cool following an encounter with a cot, a pastor tried his own. Did he succeed? And was it natural and seamless? Before I answer those questions with the accompanying video, let's see this. Yeah, everybody saw this video. It actually went viral all over the world. The Algerian government has even acknowledged the imam's expression of Islamic sympathy. He was bestowed with a certificate of recognition. The mainstream Western media was forced to show it to their audiences who, in my estimation, are mostly non-Muslim. For instance, this is CNN. This is BBC. This is NBC News. This is Global News. This is Al Jazeera. What is peculiar about all mainstream media outlets is their collective culpability in sharing false images of Islam to the world. For the first time, people saw the true color of Islam as a pretty humble, peaceful and sympathetic religion. I am not saying this because I'm a Muslim, but because different religious leaders have been spotted with cards over the years. Now, for example, these are pictures of the Pope and other religious leaders with cards. Is there a difference? Yes. This video is more organic and natural. Ultimately, people didn't expect this sort of video. This is not the first time an imam has done this. Have people forgotten for crying out loud that Moff to Meg had a viral video where he was tending his cart? However, the unique thing about this new viral clip is that the cart came at a time when the prayers were on. That's when the prayer was going on. What told him to jump on the Imam? How did it even come to kiss and try to get close to the Imam's face? What was behind all this? I can only prefer you know, spiritual answers to these questions. This is because it happened during prayers. If you watch closely, you will realize that the Imam was actually reciting the bit of words of the Quran. The Quran is a book that contains the admonition of Allah, the one and only God with no partners. These words are living and are powerful. They came from God and would naturally attract any creature to listen, it refreshes the soul and mesmerizes the intellect. These are the words of Allah. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to a very short episode today. Please like and share to enable others to see this firsthand analysis about the viral video of the Algerian Imam subscribe to help us grow better. I had previously talked about the spiritual trigger from Allah which made the cart jump on the Imam in the mosque mm -hmm. while praying. But I would like it if you carefully observe that from the very moment the cart started to hear the recitation it became restless. Just take a look at this. It was moving about looking for ways to jump and maybe understand where the beautiful soul-catching sound 
was abruptly coming from. However, the same simple observation cannot be made of this pasta who attempted to go viral. It's obvious oh. that the bed may have been brought to the table. There are no signs it flew independently to yeah. the altar, much like the cot. It is obvious that the pastor's video was actually staged. Well, I have a bunch of things to unpack in the Imam and the cart episode because it was spontaneous. Yeah. I do not think the cart would attempt to jump on the Imam if it is not. In fact, just watch closely, you would notice that it jumped and had family on the Imam's clothes. Finding balance, he proceeded to the top of the Imam's shoulders and attempted to kiss or trace the origin of those beautiful words of Allah. Interestingly, why the spirit of prayer and focus involved the Imam and the cart when it eventually succeeded some folks behind were actually distracted take a look at this man and this man this man particularly looked up and was surprised again hardly the cart notice that the Imam was about to finish the recitation and peacefully jumped down to allow him to bow well only Allah can explain what really happened. Let's see what Moftuman said about the event. I want to seize this opportunity to say the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has told us that people have entered paradise because of their good treatment of dogs and cats. And people have entered hellfire because of their bad treatment of cats. There is a narration, which means these animals. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, Fi kulli kabidin ratbatin ajrun. Every creature that has a liver, every creature that has life, subhanAllah, we need to be good to it and we will get a reward for being kind and good. Not only that, Islam extends to your ecosystem, your environment, the trees that you have. You don't just chop them down in a destructive manner. But we are encouraged very strongly to plant trees. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says whoever plants a tree will continue to get a reward for as long as that tree is standing, even beyond that person's death, for as long as it is providing some form of benefit in terms of shade, in terms of fruit or whatever else it may be for the people or the birds and the animals and so on. So this is Islam. Ladies and gentlemen, let leave it right there. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Wow, guys. Woo. I remember when this video actually went viral, but I didn't get the clip of the pastor. I only got the clip of the Imam. I reacted to the Imam on, only. So I was like, okay, let me react to open-minded show, you know, point of view. Let me see that clip of the pastor. And this is the first time I'm seeing it. And I was mesmerized when I watched that clip where the cat jumped on the imam. One thing I observed is the fact that the imam did not make any movements. You know, I don't know if he has that. Because me, if an animal jump on me, I'll be scared. Forget. See, even with spirituality, I'll be scared. Because there are some animals that... Even generally, I don't really like when animals touch my body, and you get it. And at that time, it was, it was concentrated. It was concentrating on his prayer. He was not even aware that the cat was around him. There's a difference between if you are being aware, you you notice that oh, this cat is around me. And your your mind is prepared that oh, this cat can jump on me. It's totally different. But in this case, he was praying, reciting the Quran with eyes closed. And the cat jumped at him. And if it was somebody else, he would have thrown the cat away. Because at that point, you are shocked. You know, something jumping at you when you don't expect it. Or something happening to you when you don't expect it. Your reaction will be out of, you know, you'll be shocked. You'll be totally shocked and scared. Even though you're not scared, you'll be shocked. I, I was expecting him to throw the cat away because he was concentrating on the prayer. But he lifted the cat. He made sure the cat was comfortable on his body then from there the cat went on his shoulder then the imam did not even make a slight movement he stood still and kept up praying and it was later on i noticed that somebody um, few of the muslims the movement and 
the man over there was shocked. Why some people didn't even know what was going on because they were also connected. If it was somebody else, that prayer would have concluded. That prayer would have been, you know, interrupted because of the cat. But there was no interruption. It, it, the, a man did not conclude the prayer. He was still focused on Allah. Focused on God and put his trust in Allah. Knowing that this cat cannot do it. <coughs> knowing, <coughs> knowing that this cat cannot do him any harm. So, so you will notice that the cat went round his shoulder, was seen his tail. At that point in time, you know, that thing can tinkle you. I was expecting the, the imam, even though you are not scared, at least the tail would be tickish on his body, you would tinkle him. But that was not the case. That was never the case. The imam still stood still, praying, praying to Hala. And when the cat knew he was about to conclude the prayer, it, it got down. The cat called. How did the cat know that the man was... Because just imagine that the cat was not aware of the fact or he didn't have that, you know, instinct that this man, uh, this, the imam is about to conclude the prayer. Will the imam actually bow down with the cat on his shoulder? That's my imagination. That's what I, I'm thinking. Will he bow down or will he bring the cat down? Or will it, will it be distracted through the prayer? Just, let's, just, let's just imagine it. I don't know if anybody has thought in this, in this way. I don't know whether you've, you've thought in this aspect. Because it's now that it came to my mind that just imagine that the cat was not aware. And the imam was about to bow down. Will he bow down? And will the cat still stand still on the shoulder? Or the imam will you know, drop the cat? But that was a beautiful, that's the power of God, a power of Allah, because that's beyond, beyond human imagination. The cat came at the right time, you know, he was connected to the prayers, he left immediately, he, knows, he knew that the man was about to conclude on the prayer, just, and look at the pastor. On the other hand, the pastor had a, cat, a, a bird on his pulpit. And the bird was just moving around. That, 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 to me, it looks staged. He's right. The guy is right. Open-minded is right. It looks staged because I'm sure that they, 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 they placed the bed on the, on the table before the pastor started preaching. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's my thought on it. But mind-blowing, guys. Mind-blowing. No wonder this thing went viral and most of the you know, news station you know, carried it. They, 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 they put it on their headlines. That was beautiful and i'm so glad that they gave the imam a recognition because this is beyond beyond extraordinary this is the power of god amazing and this event made non-muslims see islam in a good light you know everybody always have misconception about islam being this being that being that you know this time around because of what happened what the imam did is courage was enough for people to Say, oh, Islam is a true religion. Indeed, it's a true religion. Amazing, guys. Ah, wow. I re I've reacted this, to this video before, but just the Imam part. But I didn't pay close attention to all these details. But me watching this particular video made me pay so much attention to the details and made me understand that no, 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 no. This one is only the power of Allah. It's only God that can do this, not human. Everybody that sees this will know that it's not being staged. It's like, it's something that happened naturally. That was beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.